about today's topic abrasive blasting abrasive blasting uses compressed air to direct a high velocity stream of an abrasive material to clean an object or surface texture or prepare the surface for application of paint or other type of coating here we are using compressor with a capacity of 750 cfm and blast nozzle shall be electrically connected to an external ground in order to prevent static electrical discharges or shock to operating personnel. Grounding wire shall be AWG4 or larger. Compressor hoses, air lines and blast hoses shall be pinned at each coupling. According to Aramco standards, all pressure relief valve gauges and devices shall be tested annually and tagged with expiration date. Blasting and coating shall not be performed if one or more of the following conditions are exist. Condition number A, the substrate temperature is less than 10 degree or more than the temperature limit given in the applicable Saudi Aramco data sheet. Number two, the abrasive blasting and painting shall be carried out only when the steel surface is at least three degree above the dew point. So the monitoring of weather conditions like metal temperature, dew point and relative humidities are more important in blasting and painting activity. The operational remote control valve or dead man shall be securely attached to the nozzle. Minimum nozzle pressure acceptable in the blasting 90 psi measured at the nozzle side. A respirable air feed abrasive, blasting hoods and OSHA approved inline respirable air filters shall be utilized at all the times. Vessels such as air receivers that are used as a service tank between the compressor and blasting port shall be manufactured and stamped in accordance with ASME Section 8D. Abrasive used shall be approved, cold slag, garnet or any other ab abrasive that should meet SSPC AB1 standards. Flange faces like gaskets area will be protected using duct or masking tapes prior to blasting and painting to avoid blasting. Crew supervisor pl plays an important role in the abrasive blasting and painting activity because approved crew supervisor should check all the abrasive paint material and take care of storage. He should conduct toolbox meeting regularly and explain to the operative in details about the procedure. Blotter test. The compressed air used to abrasive blasting shall be free of oil, moisture and contamination. Air quality shall be verified in the following method at the start and midpoint of each 8 hour period. Prior to abrasive blasting, surface shall be cleaned for moisture, oil, dust, grease or other contaminations. Anger profile. 50 to 75 microns are preferably needed in all type of abrasive blasting. Profile measurement shall be taken using texture tape or equal as per ASTM D4417 method C. C blasting with a 45 degree angle method will be carried out to reduce high angle profile if observed.